hello amazing one welcome and in this tutorial you're going to learn how to solve this beautiful equation and don't forget to stay to the end because i'm going to teach you how to check for the solution we'll get to see if it's equal to what we have at the right side it's going to be amazing and also tell us how it helps you in the comment we we'll always want to serve you best yes let's do this together so we begin this with solution okay so what do we have we have it that this k is multiplying itself you see k multiplies k multiplies k that simply gives us k to the power of three okay this power shows you how many times the k is multiplied now minus this is k multiplies k so it's going to be k to the power of two this two shows you that k is multiplied two times and this is equal to 100 so what do we do just know that this 100 has a lot of ways to represent it okay but i'm going to teach you what to do so we can have it that k cubed minus k squared can also be written as this will be equal to 125 minus 25 when you subtract these two it gives you 100 don't worry we have a reason for choosing this even though there are many ways you can express your 100 just keep learning now what do you do at this point this is also the same as k to the power of 3 minus k squared is we know to where that 125 is 5 multiplied three times so we have it this way so we can rewrite this to be 5 to the power of 3 minus 25 is 5 multiplied 2 times and that is 5 squared. So what do you think we should do? We are going to move all these values to the left side of the equation. Now let's do this together. We have k cubed minus k squared. This is positive. So if you are taking it to this part, it takes negative. So you are subtracting, okay? So you have this. Now, this one is also negative. If you are taking it to the left side, you are adding, okay? So you add five squares to both sides. And when you do that, you are left with zero. Interesting. So what did you observe? We are going to gather those ones that have the same powers together. So if you do that, we are going to have k cubed. This is minus five cubed, then minus k squared plus five squared is equal to zero amazing now what do you think we should do at this point at this point we just need to work on this one okay so we're going to work on this and then on this so to do that we are going to have just remember that for every a cube minus b cube simply gives us a minus b into a squared plus b squared plus a b interesting so this is going to be a guide okay to simplifying this value so what do we do we know to where that this can take a okay and this one takes our b so using this formula we are going to have for this we are having so this gives us k minus five okay now we have into this will give us we are having k squared plus our b is 5 so we have 5 squared plus multiply these two so we're going to have k multiplied by 5 interesting now let's work on this for this we are going to have we can factor this negative sign out so we have negative okay into we have k squared now this negative will affect this so we're going to have negative 5 squared interesting so that when you use this to distribute it takes you back to this i hope you are with me there and this is equal to zero so what do you do next when you also look at this you observe that this can also be simplified using difference of two squares so we can still recall that for every a squared minus b squared it is a plus b into a minus b we are going to also use this as a guide so simplifying this we are going to have k minus 5 into what we have here as k squared plus 5 squared is 5 times 5 to give us 25 when you multiply this it gives you 5k 
interesting. Now we have it as minus, using difference of two squares from this, we are going to have, this will be A and this is B. So we have K plus five, okay? Let's use another bracket to separate that. So we have this into, we have K minus five, interesting. So what do you think, and all these I equal to zero? When you look at this carefully, you will notice that what we have at this side and at this side, k minus 5 is repeated. So what do you do? We are going to factor it out. So to do that, we are going to have k minus 5 factored out, then open a big bracket. When k minus 5 divides the whole of this, you see you'll be left with this. So we're going to have k squared plus 25 plus 5k. I hope you are with me. Now use this to divide these two. You see, you are going to be left with k plus 5. So we're going to have, remember there is subtraction sign in between this. So we're going to have minus, okay? So when this divides this, you're having k plus 5. I hope you are with me there. And all these are equal to 0. So then when you use this to multiply this, it returns you to this. And when you use this to multiply this, it returns you to this. So you have not changed anything. So keep simplifying, you are going to have. And don't forget to give this tutorial a like. Let's know how it also helps you in the comments. Thank you, and let's continue. Simplifying this from here, we have k minus 5. Then we have this. Okay, let's simplify what we have here. We have k squared plus, we have... 5k, okay, plus 25. Use this negative sign to distribute, okay? We have negative k minus 5. Interesting. So let's change this now. So this is what we have. Now at this point, and remember, all these are equal to 0. So at this point, what do you still do? We are going to still simplify to have k minus 5 into... Simplify what you have here. You have k squared, 5k minus k will give us 4k, and 25 take away 5 gives us uh, 20. Everything is equal to 0. What did you observe? You observe that these two are equal to 0. And if a, b is equal to 0, a is equal to 0, or b is equal to 0. So at this point, we are going to have it that this, either this, is equal to zero, okay, or that k squared plus 4k plus 20 is equal to zero. Interesting. Now let's solve for this first. For this, we are going to have add five to both sides because it's negative, so you add five here. And if you do that, you have k is equal to, if you add five to zero, it gives you five. So we have been able to get one value of k. So this gives us the first value of k. Now to solve this value of, to solve this to get the values of k, remember this is quadratic equation because the highest power of k is 2. So to solve this, we are going to have k squared plus 4k plus 20 is equal to 0. So what do you think we should do? Just use your quadratic formula which says k will be negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So at this point, this is the formula, is our guide. So here, our a is the coefficient of k squared, which is 1, okay? Your b is the coefficient of k, which is 4, and your c is the constant, which is 20. So plug this into this formula. We are going to have k will give us negative of this 4 plus or minus square root of, we have 4 squared minus 4, multiply our a is 1, multiplied by our c is 20. Interesting. And this is divided by 2, multiplied by 1. So what do we still do? We are going to have our k is equal to, negative 4 plus or minus square root of square 4 squared is 4 times 4 to give us 16 okay 
Now, when you multiply this is 4, multiply this is negative 80. And this is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. It gives not 2. So what do we still do? We keep simplifying. This gives us negative 4 plus or minus. If you subtract this, it gives us negative 64. Interesting. And that is divided by 2. So simplifying this, we have our k is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. You observe that there is negative sign inside these roots. Okay, this is your square root. And each time you have a negative sign inside the square root, it is leading you to a complex solution because you cannot have a real number that has negative in the square root. Okay, this cannot be shown on a number line. So what it means is that this can be written as negative 1 multiplied by 64 divided by 2. Okay, so simplifying this, we have k is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. This is the same. Just remember, for every root of a, b, it is root of a multiplied by root of b. Okay, so in this case, this will give us square root of negative 1 multiplied by this divided by 2 interesting and this is equal to k is negative 4 plus or minus now each time you have square root of negative 1 just remember that it gives you when you have this it is equal to i this is your imaginary unit okay so in that case this gives us k is negative 4 plus or minus this will now have i multiplied by square root of 64 gives us 8, okay? So simplifying this, this is divided by 2. So we keep simplifying this to have k is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. If you multiply this, it gives you 8i, and that is divided by 2. So keep simplifying. k will give us, these two we divide each of the numerators. So we have negative 4 over 2 plus or minus 8i over 2. So we have k is, divide this, it gives you negative 2 plus or minus. Divide this, you have 4i. So if you simplify, you have k, that's the second value of k, we give us negative 2, okay, plus 4i, that's the second value of k, and the third value of k will be negative 2 minus 4i. And remember we said that the first value of k is what? 5. So this gives us the three values of k. Now, these three values of k, this is the one we call the real value, okay? Because it is the one that can be found on a number line. And these two are the complex word solution. So having gotten this, join me as we now check for this solution. We'll check for this value of k as 5, and let's see if it gives us a 100. Let's do that together. So to check, we are going to have, this gives us, our k is 5, so we plug it here. We have 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 minus 5 multiplied by 5. When you multiply this, it gives you 125. When you multiply this, it gives you 25. And when you subtract this, it gives you 100. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. You can also do your own check on these two. And let's discuss your answers in the comments. I'll be there with you. And let's know if this helps you. Don't forget to share this so that the algorithm catches it and send to more people that need these skills. If this helps you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips you'll get from us. Thank you for always engaging with us. I appreciate you all. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.